Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From an inquiry addressed to Thalasius by Saint Maximus the Confessor. Abbot The light that illumines all men. The lamp set upon the lampstand is Jesus Christ. The true light from the Father. The light that enlightens every man who comes into the world. In taking our own flesh, he has become and is rightly called a lamp. For he is the co-natural wisdom and word of the Father. He is proclaimed in the Church of God in accordance with Orthodox faith, and he is lifted up and resplendent among the nations through the lives of those who live virtuously in observance of the commandments. So he gives light to all in the house, that is, in this world, just as he himself, God the Word, says, No one lights a lamp and puts it under a bushel, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. Clearly, he is calling himself the lamp. He, who was by nature God, and became flesh according to God's saving purpose. Lamp-like indeed, he alone dispelled the gloom of ignorance and the darkness of evil and became the way of salvation for all men. Through virtue and knowledge, he leads to the Father those who are resolved to walk by him who is the way of righteousness. In obedience to the divine commandments, he has designated Holy Church, the lamp stand, over which the word of God sheds light 
through preaching and illumines with the rays of truth whoever is in this house which is the world and fills the minds of all men with divine knowledge. This word is most unwilling to be kept under a bushel. It wills to be set in a high place upon the sublime beauty of the church. For while the word was hidden under the bushel, that is, under the letter of the law, it deprived all men of eternal light. For then it could not give spiritual contemplation to men striving to strip themselves of sensuality that is illusory, capable only of deceit, and able to perceive only decadent bodies like their own. But the Word wills to be set up on a lamp stand, the church, where rational worship is offered in the Spirit, that it may enlighten all men. For the letter, when it is not spiritually understood, bears a carnal sense only, which restricts its expression and does not allow the real force of what is written to reach the hearer's mind. Let us then not light the lamp by contemplation and action only to put it under a bushel. That lamp, I mean, which is the enlightening word of knowledge lest we be condemned for restricting by the letter the incomprehensible power of wisdom. Rather, let us place it upon the lampstand of Holy Church, on the heights of true contemplation, where it may kindle for all men the light of divine teaching. From the desert, with desert faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili. It's Spiritus Sancti. Amen.